Hi, this is Aussie. Today, I'd like to share the Marilyn series of tangent x. If let's say we do it in the usual way, we realize that it's quite complicated for us to differentiate after some point of time. And we have to differentiate the function for at least five times in order for us to obtain three non-zero terms and at least seven times for us to obtain at least four non-zero terms. So instead of differentiating the function tangent, we can actually apply their identity. So we have tangent x is equal to sine x over cos x. And what we have to do here is just let fx be equal to sine x and gx be equal to cos x. What we have to do, just differentiate the function sine. It's easier compared to with differentiating tangent. And we just have to apply long division and then we are able to solve for the Marilyn series of tangent x. Let's try. So fx is equal to sine x, which means that at the point zero, we obtain zero. And we differentiate for the first time. Differentiating sine is equal to cos. So cos at point 0 is equal to 1. Then second time, differentiating cos is negative sine. So at point 0, we have 0 again. Then differentiate for the third time, we have negative remain. Differentiating sine is cos. So we obtain negative 1. Then the fourth time, we have differentiating negative cos is positive sign. Differentiating positive cos is negative sign. So negative cos is positive sign. So the fourth derivative, 0. Then the fifth derivative, we have cos, which is equal to positive 1. And let's say the question requires only three non zero terms, basically we can stop here. And let's say the question asks for more, then we have to differentiate further. So which means that sine x is equal to original function 0 over 0 factorial x to the power of 0 plus first derivative. So 1 over 1 factorial x to the power of 1 plus Second derivative is 0 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2. As we can see the pattern here, 0 power 0, 1 power 1, 2 power 2. Then this is the respective derivative. So the third one, we have negative 1 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3. Then the fourth one is 0 again over 4 factorial x to the power of 4. And the fifth one is 1 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and so on. So we simplify the one zero we can actually ignore. Since anything times zero we get back the same thing. So 1 over 1 is 1. So we have 1x here. Then negative positive negative 1 over 3 factorial is 6. x to the power of 3. Then plus 5 factorial we can use calculator. 5 factorial is 120, so 1 over 120 x to the power 5, and so on. Then for cos x, basically we don't have to really differentiate. The reason here is, as we can see, this is cos. This is actually the shift of the function sign. So which means that here, we start from this point, this is the original function, so should be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So with this idea, we can have the function cos x is equal to, this is the original function, so 1 over 0 factorial x to the power of 0, and we plus, this is the first derivative, which is 0 over 1 factorial x to the power of 1 plus sec the second derivative, negative 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2, then plus 0 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3 plus 1 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on. As we can see, this method is rather easier. So 0 factorial is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. Anything power 0, we get back 1 plus 
this one zero ignore the, this one also zero ignore so plus minus minus one over two x to power two then we have four factorial so four factorial we obtain 24 so 1 over 24 x to the power 4 and so on since we already obtained the function sine x and cos x now we can apply the long division to obtain the function tangent x so we apply long division so we have sine x so for the term that missing we can plus 0 and x squared minus 1 over 6x cubed plus 0x power 4 plus 1 over 120x to power 5 and so on so the cost function 1 minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 24x power 4 and so on so the rule of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0 in order to obtain 0 we must have x here which means that we have to take x times 1 to obtain x then x minus x is 0 so the next one x and x squared is x cubed so with the coefficient 1 times negative 1 over 2 so negative 1 over 2 so always remember when we apply long division is take the term negative 1 1 over 6 minus so minus negative 1 over 2 and we should obtain 1 over 3 x cubed so the next one we should have so again we need to reduce to 0 so before that let's continue to times the remaining part so x and x4 we have x power 5 then 1 over 20 Four. so positive remain positive then we should have 1 over 120 minus 1 over 24 and we obtain negative 1 over 30 x to the power 5 so now we should reduce this term to 0 in order to obtain 0 we need 1 over 3 x to the power 3 so which means that we have to times 1 over 3 positive x to the power of 3 so which means that we have 2 times 1 over 3 times negative 1 over 2 which is negative 1 over 6 x to the power of 5 3 plus 2 is 5 then this one is already out of the range then we just ignore if let's say the question requested only for the first three terms if let's say the question requests for more then we have to differentiate further for the function f so we have negative 1 over 30 minus negative 1 over 6 so we have to minus negative remember then we have 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 so in order to reduce to 0 which means that we need 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 and hence we that okay so we should which means that the tangent the Maclaurin series of tangent x is equal to x plus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 2 over 15 x to the power 5 and so on as we can see this method is rather easier as compared to the conventional method okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you